going to do no. uh, no, give up. Are you videoing? Okay. Yes, recording. Hello, my name is Manel Senis and I am product designer in Digma. I want to explain you here how are we improving our light in the in the bottom of the keyboard, okay? And how how is our process? This is one of the first keyboards we working keyboards we we made, okay? And as you can see, the light is not perfectly even in in all the perimeter. Okay, we have like dark uh, points, okay? Uh, and then we try to improve it in the next version, okay? We try like a different things. And we had like a more even light in the back, but it was very dark in the front. Okay, it was not. It, it wasn't like different dark points. It was darker, darker when you go to the to the front. Okay, and then well, after this prototype, uh, we started thinking why was it happen and asking experts and and trying to understand how the light works, and we saw that the distance between between the PCB and the LED and the plastic is very important. Okay, in the back we have big distance, but in the front we have like zero distance because this keyboard has a three degree, three degrees angle. Okay, and with this distance the light is not opening, so it doesn't fill the the plastic with light, and then the intensity the, the intensity is like lower, and we started thinking in the development team and. And try to do something absolutely different, okay, like this. We design a set of canals, okay, a light pipes, uh, driving driving the LED to the right part of the base uh, where we really need the light, okay. We did this, and the result uh, was good. We had light where we where we needed that, okay, in this point, in this point, okay. It's a matter of adjusting of adjusting. To get to this solution, we need different prototypes, different thicknesses, distances, and all that. Okay, but as you see there, our our PCB is pointing down. Our LEDs are pointing down. I mean, the PCB we already have for the keycaps, for the keys and the switches, is the one we want to use for the LEDs also. Okay, so then we did that, a prototype with the bended light pipes. Okay, so we take the light. From the vertical direction, but but we but we bring it to the horizontal direction. Okay, and we tried that. It looked like it worked also. Okay, and looked like we can bring the light uh, when, uh, wherever we we need it. Okay, and that's pretty cool. So our next step, following this design, is do a complete base. Okay, uh, and model it in 3D and do like a 3D printing in optical material, okay? And, it, and then start modifying the different light pipes, okay? To get a perfect even light in all the perimeter. When we confirm it's okay, we will create a, I mean, a, work, a, a golden prototype and use it for mass production and injection. Well, that's our plan and what we are working in now in the light section. Thanks for your time. Good luck.